everyone. Let's take a pause together, taking a breath, and just come into your body and your being. And just feel your beingness for the next little while. I'm Rajani Daphne, and I welcome you all with us here as we're getting high <laughs> in the Rocky Mountains. <laughs> I'm surrounded by Goddess Diane, Goddess Jennifer, and Goddess Bridget here. And we have had a remarkable weekend at the Healing Fair here at the Blue House. And so, this is week two of the No Time Like the Present. And this is the book that I like to, that I am sharing the journey with everyone. Jack Cornfield, No Time Like the Present. So there you go. So today's inspiration is about resting in love and that vastness is our home. And I like the analogy of looking at the world and seeing how the world is a circle. And then if you were to rise above or step outward, you would see that the sky and the atmosphere is surrounding, is holding the earth. And uh, that is what we're going to be talking and experiencing today. And then also connecting with the one who knows. And the one who knows is, um, is the one who is recognizing that there's the earth, there's the sky, the atmosphere, and that there's some spaciousness, some, some, some existing, some being around that. And the one who has the awareness, your consciousness, is the one who knows. Some people might call it the higher self. Some people might call it their spirit guide. Some people might call it source. And so one example that um, Ajahn Chah, who is a Thai forest monastery monk teacher, suggests that to connect with the one who knows, you simply have to become a witness to it all. The person with perspective or the one who knows. So go ahead and get a feel of the one who knows in your world. you maintain the awareness with the one who knows. Recognize that there is this spaciousness around and within us. And that spaciousness provide a freedom, a freedom, a doorway, and also a space of dignity and peace. So what does it free you from? So sometimes we identify with the sorrow, the grief, the pain, something's wrong, I'm not good enough, and all of these sorrow can be physical as well as emotional. So when you step back, when you rise above, fall into that spaciousness, you can find freedom, freedom from worries, freedom from conflicts, freedom from your sorrow. And the, the sorrow can then be held with gentleness, with kindness, with dignity, with courage, as you are into the spaciousness. And sometimes it's a dance. Sometimes it's a dance. Sometimes you're in sorrow, and then you can 
step away into the spaciousness. And then you got come back into sorrow, and then you fall into spaciousness. And so it's a dance, just like our breath. Our breath, in-breath, and then the out-breath. That too is a dance. It has its own rhythm. Feeling your in-breath and feeling your out-breath. Or day, fall into night. And anything that arise will one day fall down. It can be like waves in the lake or in the ocean. Just remember that everything has its season, its cycle, and that one time you're in the middle of it all, and then another time you can step into the spaciousness and find freedom from that sorrow in the middle. And so um, you can call it resting in love and allowing the spaciousness or this love to be a container to be a container that holds sorrow, physical pain or emotional pain. You can let, let this love not only provide you with freedom, but provide you with tenderness and care and peace and dignity. Another analogy is also when we have an incident. There's a car um, wreck, there's a fire. That becomes the hot zone. Well, it's not really comfortable to be in the hot zone for very long. What we naturally do is we step away. And so it's a lot like that. But the what we hold in the middle may not be as extreme or as intense as a fire or a car wreck. And so we always, and the invitation is for you to find this vastness, this spaciousness, and this resting in love at any given time. And we need to practice to help us be able to react automatically. If you're used to, if your habit pattern has been staying in the hot zone, then it's going to be hard for you to choose to step back. And so we have to practice, rewire your brain neuropath. And so now we're going to go into the practice piece. Go ahead and close your eyes if they're open, or you can keep them open if you wish. And let's connect with the one who knows. comfort, a minor pain, a minor sorrow in your life. It can be as simple as, I haven't had my coffee yet, <laughs> or I'm hungry, or it could be something that you've been struggling with for a little bit, whatever you're comfortable with. And step right into that hot mess and get a feel for what that feels like. You're ready. Stepping back. Maybe taking a breath as a physical connection with stepping back into spaciousness.
allow it. It's okay because you can step out at any time and rest in love. so short-lived if we were to allow those raw emotions to release but our mind is like the wind that keeps blowing and refueling this coal and so allow the emotions to rise up and stay with the raw emotion and let it ride out like wave and just watch it wave out just let, letting the ride the wave fall out and then step going through with that and just be the one, the witness, the one who knows. with it, it doesn't naturally complete. Or sometimes it needs to do waves, waves and waves, so several layers. And so whatever it is that's in the middle for you, allow it to be and have its own natural cycle. And this is how you can be with the sorrow, the physical or emotional pain. Now the same can be done for joy and for love, for happiness, for peace. So another experience would be for you to do the positive aspects of this experience. So let's bring in joy or a love or a compassion or a kindness or dignity or confidence. Bring that into your heart. Assuming the role of the one who knows. Witnessing being a witness. And then radiating that positive feeling out into the spaciousness around you and rest in that and strengthen your field, your resource of positiveness. Hey, 
So know that it's always there and that spaciousness is the doorway to freedom and that your spacious heart is your true home and that you can rest in love. Happy journey. Until next time, Daphne's out. Have a great day.